Sven McCoy here. Today at the Grill of Shine, we got a uh, special, special deal going on. Um, the, we've been uh, sponsored by uh, Bone Shaker, Amsterdam Brewery Bone Shaker, unfiltered Indian Pale Ale. This is a, it's a beauty. It's a 7.1 strong beer. Today we're going to be making a hanger steak. Hanger steak is also known as the butcher cut, the butcher steak. Reason it's called butcher steak because the butchers would never give this piece of meat away because it was one of the best pieces of meat on a beef and they keep it pretty secret. But if you find it, it's going to be a little bit of work and I'll show you in a minute how we actually prepare it. But uh, it does take a lot of work, but it is worth every effort. So hang tight, grab yourself a bone shaker and let's get ready to barbecue. Okay, so you can see how much work there is to actually get in into this. We've got a little bits coming off here. We've got a fair amount of waste there, so like it's uh, just kind of bristly and fatty, and you just want to get rid of as much of that as possible. And really what it is, is this is also referred to as the butcher steak. The reason it's called the butcher steak is because the butchers would keep this for themselves. It's that good of cut meat. You'll see as we go into it. Other thing we're going to do is we're going to marinate it a bit like a flag steak and then we'll do a quick grill on it and kind of cross cut and you're about to see some of the tastiest meat ever invented by a cow. Now what we need to do is we need to start making our prep for our marinade. So uh, a little bit of Toro Bravo wine, some red wine, some fresh olive oil, Worcester of course, um, some good fresh popcorn, garlic, a little bit of uh, moonshine, some fresh chives, a little bit of uh, fresh rosemary, and a splash of uh, bone shaker. So, and of course, our favorite, a little bit of uh, Dylan's lime bitters. So. We've got a lot of concoction going in here, so we're just going to cut all this up and we'll put it into a plastic sealed bag and let this one marinate for up to uh, three, three to four hours in the fridge and then it'll be a fast grill and then you'll see what it is. So I'll cut, uh, start getting this stuff together and we'll be back and show you how you marinate. So this is all of the excess, that's what we cut off, that's for the dogs, this is for us. So you'll end up with two, two uh, equal sized strips that we'll be able to cut down. And the dogs actually heard their name being called there, so you could hear them. And now we pop the hanger stick into our zip bag. And bring that, seal that one up nice. And do a nice coating. And then what we'll do is we'll just pop that into the fridge and let that sit for three to four hours. And let that just marinate it. And uh, every time you go in for a beer, so like say every 15 minutes, you just rotate it one time. You'll be seeing it soon.